All right, we all know cherry blossoms, but do we know what they taste like? Today we're gonna to be reviewing the Kajura 20 year old Japanese whiskey, and this tastes exactly like cherry blossoms. So stay tuned and we'll take you through it. Today we're gonna to be tasting the Kajura Ry Ryuku uh, 20 year old Japanese whiskey. Now, I've just had a little sample of this and I'm bloody blown away. It's amazing. This is gonna be featured in our upcoming uh, Top Shelf Japanese box uh, on Whiskey Loot. So if you do like what you see, check it out. You'll be able to grab a little sample as part of our whiskey tasting pack. All right, so this has been um, matured for 20 years in bourbon casks. It's a grain whiskey, actually. It distinguishes itself from kind of malt counterparts as well, but it's very refreshing. Uh, it's got a lot of flavor profiles that are new and distinct and open it up to a whole new category of flavors that uh, really, you know, just expands the, the horizon of what you traditionally associate with whiskey. Um, all right, let's get straight into it. I've got a little bit here, but I'm loving this so much. I'm just going to pour myself some more. All right, so on the nose immediately, you get like a very floral hit, lots of plums, a little bit of like a um, herbaceousness that comes in the form of a, a, a mint, uh, a little bit of like sweetness of prunes as well. The, the nose is not as pronounced as what I'd expect from other 20 year old whiskies. Uh, this is bottled at 40%, uh, 43%, sorry. This is a small distillery in Japan. Um, as I mentioned, it's a grain whiskey, not a um, barley, um, which is a, a cheaper ingredient. Um, but obviously there's a lot of distinction, a lot of characters uh, within the profile that come out at that, uh, with that ingredient base. In bourbon cars, so you'd expect these um, more uh, vanilla flavors to come through as well. Uh, I'm not getting a huge amount of vanilla on the nose and it's had 20 years to lay in that cask. So I'd expect those flavors to mellow a little bit. So it's a very light body. There's a lot of um, plums that are coming through. It's, uh, it's a taste profile, as I mentioned, that's not, um, not often that you come across this taste profile. There's some candy there. There is a little bit of vanilla coming through and a little bit of kind of a rye spice. So imagine the, the, the in-between of a, of a rye um, with a, a plum wine and maybe a gin in the middle. So there's a, a lot going on in that flavor profile. I'm picking up, you know, four, five, six, seven different flavors at the same time, but they continue on into that finish and you can kind of isolate them a little bit as well. So that finish is quite long. Uh, you do have some um, licorice elements. A little bit of pepper as that kind of rye flavor profile develops. Maybe some Japanese pepper I've heard, you know, that, that's in the white category, white pepper. It's not as uh, a spicy, but it's more of an earthy tone. Um, this retails for about $600 a bottle. And I have to say it's worth it. This is uh, an amazing flavor profile that is, is really hard to come by in whiskey. Um, so yeah, if you have that type of budget, buy a bottle. If you don't, jump on Whiskey Loot. You'll be able to grab a 60 mil sample as part of a pack um, of three high profile Japanese whiskeys. This is the 20 year old. We're featuring an 18 year old and we're also featuring a limited edition Hibiki release as well. Hope you enjoyed that. If you like what you saw, please like and subscribe on our channel. Uh, check out whiskeyloot.com and subscribe to our newsletter to see when this bad boy is uh, gonna be released, which will be shortly. So um, hope you enjoy. Cheers.